Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I want to talk about a subject that appears too many times in my emails and in my inbox. What kind of project should I build up with Python and machine learning? And obviously the possibilities are endless and in this video, I would like to introduce you a few of the projects of our offline bootcamp students. They have done a really great job and all of them were having amazing projects and they are still just like in 30-35% uh, of the boot camp. They are not finished yet. So with these projects, I would like to provide you the entire source code and some project ideas that you can build using machine learning, OpenCV and of course Python. So again, I am just showing you these projects definitely for one reason to appreciate what the students have done in our offline boot camps and for reason number two that you can also take some ideas from this and probably can create amazing projects in the future and definitely in case you want to reach out these students, they are on GitHub, I'm directly linking them so in case you want to ask any question, feel free to ask them. So let's go up here and I would like to show you the projects here. In no official order, of course, all of the projects by a student were amazing. They're writing really great amount of code. So let's go up. Now the first one is by Panther Official 404 and you can look more into his ID. I'll leave a link in the description section. The first one is a spam classifier. Now spam classifier is a pretty common project in machine learning. Everybody just tries to train their model and just did and try to find out whether that email will go in the uh, spam or an inbox. Now what he has done, he has integrated that exact same model, the train model, with the Django application. So in case you are wondering how machine learning projects are integrated with a website, this is a really great starting point. There is even a direct link, you can open that up and can see that how this project is going to be running. And of course it's on GitHub so you can check the entire code as well, that what he's using, how he was, how he was able to manage this entire classifiers and all these stuff into a web application. The implementation is bare minimum basic, very simplistic, but definitely has a potential to reach at a great scale. So for example, we have got this simple form here and we can just run out some few tests here. So for example, if it is a test name and email is test at the rate test.com, some mobile number, there we go. And if I just entered a message, right now this is this is entire depicting that whether it's going to be spam or ham uh, based on the subject line. So if I just say you won, oops, you won a lottery. Uh, there we go. If I just hit the submit, it just detects that it was a spam email. Nothing much, nothing much of the fancy, but really classy project for somebody who is just into the Python and machine world, machine learning world for just like two or two and a half week. That's it. Really, really nice work here. So that's the one project idea. Surely you can learn a lot from uh, his GitHub official account, which is uh, github.com slash Panther official 404. Nice name there. Let's move on to the second one. This is like very, very short project, but still serve the purpose. This is a screen recorder in Python. Again, this project is uh, by Kunal Goel 450. Here we go. Make sure the K is capital here. And in the screen recorder part, you can see this is bare minimum code. Like even if I just say, even including the spaces, it's just a 20 line or 23 lines of code. It serves the purpose really well. I just uh, had a presentation today in the office. All these people presented their project and this works really amazing. It just takes a screenshot every single second and then just makes a trail so that it looks like a video. It does the job really nice here. So this is another project you can build up using OpenCV. And definitely you can implement some of the machine learning algorithms later on to detect the face and uh, all these fancy stuff. So another great idea. Another one is uh, this really great project. This is by Roshan998. And this is a filtering of image. The one thing that impresses me about this project is uh, there is a whole dictionary that you can do. So you can just enter an image, upload an image onto this project, and then you can turn this project in the grayscale, in the binary image, in the blue, in the smoothening of the image, blurring of the image, and detect the edge, uh, whatever you want to do. So there are so many options up here. A very, very simplistic project, but the amount of detail that he's doing in just one simple script is amazing for a person who is just getting started. So definitely if these guys can build up such projects, you can definitely make amazing and tons of projects in machine learning and Python. 
these were some sample ideas that I wanted to present and share with all of you. I'm really proud on our offline bootcamp students for machine learning. They are doing a remarkable job. I'm super happy and super thrilled that they are working and writing so many codes. Some are even making some of the pen testing projects as well. That is so amazing to get to know about them. So that's it for this video. I hope you are enjoying such random videos where I'm just throwing stuff. So that's it for this video and uh, let's catch up in the next video with MongoDB series.